Yo, what the fuck is happening? Yakuza is releasing on a Nintendo platform. Never would I have thought that Yakuza would ever release on a Nintendo platform ever again after what happened with the remake for uh, remaster for Yakuza 1 and 2 that came out on the Nintendo Wii U and it sold like shit. So they never released the Yakuza game ever again on a Nintendo platform. And also the last producer of Yakuza, the guy who was in charge, I forgot his name, I can't get it at the top of my head. But anyways, he said that he doesn't see any Yakuza games ever coming out on the Nintendo platform ever again because of the fact that Nintendo is targeted for kids and Yakuza surrounds more with like the adult rated kind of audience and stuff like that. So it doesn't fit on a Nintendo platform. So we never thought that we would see Yakuza ever again on a Nintendo platform. But guess what? Today in the Nintendo Direct, they announced that Yakuza Kiwami is coming out on, an, on a Nintendo platform. It's coming out on the Switch. This is crazy. I never would I have thought that, that Yakuza would ever be on a Nintendo platform again. But here we are. It's 2024. And today's Nintendo Direct, which they killed it today. Like, the Nintendo Direct was really good. But here we are, August 27th, right? And Yakuza Kiwami is coming out on a Nintendo Switch. Now, granted, I don't know how this game is going to perform. They didn't give any details about that. From when I was looking at the trailer, I don't know if that was actual Switch gameplay. But it looked like it was stumbling a little bit. It looked like there was a little frame drops here and there and stuff like that. Who knows how this game... You know, who knows how the Switch is going to handle this game? Who knows? Because for the longest, this game never came out on the Switch. And now it's finally coming out on the Switch. So it took them that long to kind of like port it over to the Switch. Like, why did it take so long? I mean, <laughs> the game came out, what, in 2014, 2015? And you finally ported it over to the Switch? Like, damn, man. Like, the poor Nintendo fans, they're finally going to be able to play fucking Kiwami. They're finally going to be able to play Yakuza series. Like, shit. I mean, I might buy it. And the, the best thing about this is that it's $20. It's not $50, it's not $40, it's not $30, it's $20. So you can pick it up and play it quickly. Like you could just buy it. It's it's quick, you could buy it, it's $20, it's cheap. I mean, I'm buying it. I'm probably gonna buy it because I wanna play Yakuza portably. Like, I think that's amazing that I could be able to play Yakuza portably. Like, I've always wanted to play Yakuza portably outside of the Steam Deck because I'm not carrying my big ass Steam Deck outside. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather have the Switch, the Switch Lite. Imagine playing that with the Switch Lite where you just put it in your pocket and you start playing Yakuza. That's fucking dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know how this game is gonna run. I believe it's probably gonna run like the PlayStation 3 version, which is 30 frames per second and 720p. Um, remember that this game did come out on the PlayStation 3, but, um, yeah, other than that, like, what is happening? What is happening? They, and also, they also trying to push out this Yakuza series that's coming out on Amazon Prime. They're really, really trying hard to push it out there. So, I feel like this is also a part of it. They're really trying to push it out there because the release date for this Yakuza Kiwami that's coming out on the Nintendo Switch is October 24th, and I believe the TV show comes out October 27th, or... I think the same date as the Yakuza Kiwami coming out of the Switch. I think it comes out at the same date. So it's like, why not push both out there and let's make a number on the Yakuza series. Let's make a number on the Yakuza series. Now that Yakuza is so popular, let's make more money out of it. The live action series on Amazon Prime is going to make it money. It's probably going to make it even more popular and make more people get into the, to the series. So why not like even have Yakuza Kiwami come out on the Switch because not a lot of people have the game. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people own the game. A lot of people who who don't own Yakuza, who don't own a PlayStation which or, or Steam or they don't own the PC or whatever, Xbox is like, now I could be able to play it on my, you know, portable console. Now I could be able to play it like on the go. Yakuza, I could, I could play it on the go. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> it's like, wow, I don't know how this game is going to run. Once again, I will clarify that I don't know how this game is going to run. And I'm a little worried about that because if it runs like shit, if it has massive frame drops and all this other stuff, then it's going to be trash. It's, it's going to be trash because like the Nintendo Switch is not so much of a powerful console, but it does have its moments where it does have a pretty uh, stable, powerful games out there like um, Breath of the Wild, the Zelda games, and like all these other games. I don't know, like, cause I, I don't really, I'm not a really a Nintendo guy. I don't really play Nintendo games, so I own like three Switches, but I don't really play it like that. This is this is crazy news. I don't know. <laughs> like, does this mean that Yakuza Kiwami 2 and Yakuza 0 and all the other ones is gonna come out on a Nintendo Switch as well? Like, they're trying to see like how much Yakuza Kiwami is gonna sell on the Nintendo platform. Are they giving it a chance? Like, 
I'm pretty sure it's gonna sell pretty well though, only because of the fact that Yakuza is such a big franchise now that having it on a Nintendo platform will make it even bigger. So that means that you're probably gonna release Yakuza 0, you're probably gonna release Kiwami 2. I don't know about Kiwami 2 too much. Because it does run on the Dragon Engine, so Kiwami 2 having that, putting that in the Dragon Engine onto the uh, Nintendo platform is probably going to be way too hard to do. Maybe Yakuza 0 for sure. I could even see Like a Dragon Ishin, the remake, coming out on the Nintendo platform because it runs on Unreal Engine and it doesn't run on the Dragon Engine, so I can see that happening. But, I mean, like, shit. Like, this is so weird. Like, this is so fucking random like this caught me off guard and this is what i'm saying they're trying to really push out this yakuza series out there they're trying to really push it out there like you know they they they, they didn't even when they advertise the yakuza kiwami they put like a little bubble or whatever they're like oh like watch the amazon prime series coming out in october and stuff like that which personally i don't know how i feel about it because i hope it's really good i hope it has like you know i hope that transfer into a real life show like really really well because apparently the people who who acted in the game i mean who acted in the show they've never played the game so it's like are they really gonna follow the damn game are they really does anybody know about the product does anybody know about kiwami does anybody know about yakuza like <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like is anybody gonna know w what they're doing in the show like or are they gonna make it his own product and just have the yakuza name in it but I'm pretty sure the people who who are working on the Ryu Gaigo Toku Studios right now, the people who are working in there, they're probably working with the, you know, the live action crew or whatever, the, the series guys, and they're like, all right, how can we make this, uh, how can we make this like the game? Like, we got to make sure that it has at least int a bit to be like the game. Like, I really hope that it's good. I mean, I really hope that it's good because I'm a big Yakuza fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be failure. I don't want it to look like shit. I don't want, like, the Yakuza fans to, like, kind of like you know attack it and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because this is some th yo yakuza is finally in the spotlight like we're getting a live action show we're getting fucking yakuza on the switch <laughs> like I, the switch of all consoles like again i never ever thought that i would see yakuza on a nintendo platform ever again but here we are here we are 2024 once again i said 827 2024 here we are yakuza is coming out on the nintendo platform but yeah it, it it's pretty it's pretty surprising but anyways guys let me know what you guys think are you guys going to pick up yakuza kuwami and nintendo switch let me know your thoughts on it and let me know your thoughts on the new brand new show that's coming out on amazon prime what are your thoughts about that like are you are you hopeful about it that it's gonna you know it's gonna be like the, the move the game or whatever the video game and also just you know, whatever you do, please subscribe and like this video. I will highly appreciate it. My name is Sam Maddock and I'll see you guys in the next video.